guys, what's up? I hope your week is going well. So for all of my Australian viewers, you guys have been asking me to um, share with you some of QV skincare and what I think of QV skincare. I love QV skincare. Uh, for those of you who aren't familiar, QV is an Australian brand that makes fantastic products that are free of fragrance and common allergens. And they are sort of the Australian equivalent of Vanny Cream that I frequently re recommend to you guys. Um, so I have several of their products here and I thought it'd be fun to share with you guys a little nighttime skincare routine. I got um, these uh, in one of two ways. Either I ordered them on Amazon UK or um, for some of the products, I've had very nice viewers send them to me. So I'm very grateful to those of you who did that. You certainly don't, do not ever have to do that. But hopefully in today's video, you know, this will, this will be helpful to you guys. I'm just gonna do a little nighttime skincare routine um, to, um, as, as I would before bed. This is a skincare routine that is good for really any type of skin. Sensitive skin, dry skin, oily skin, acne prone skin, mature skin, human skin. This is, this is a pretty straightforward, no-nonsense skincare routine. And uh, the very first thing that I'm going to do is just, you know, pull my hair back here. And I just have this cute little, little headband here. You guys remember this from one of my prior videos, right? <laughs> fun for these skincare routines. But um, the first goal of my nighttime skincare routine is to um, take off my water resistant sunscreen. I have several layers of water resistant sunscreen as um, I reapply it throughout the day, layer after layer after layer, and I like to take that off. I also wear mascara, and that is the only makeup that I wear. Um, so that, that all needs to come off. And you guys who watch my skincare routine videos know at this point that I like to do that with a double cleanse method. I like to use an oil first to go in and break up that, that film of uh, mascara and sunscreen. And then I like to remove the oil and broken up gunk with a gentle cleanser. So I'm gonna do that using the QV products today. And the first product that I'm gonna use is the QV bath oil. This is a fantastic product. It is just um, liquid paraffin and it uh, is, you know, really nice in that it is non-irritating, non, uh, it's not going to clog pores and it will break up that, that film. If you wear a lot of heavy foundation um, makeup, this is good, good to do as well. And the only thing I don't care for, and maybe it's different um, in, in Australia, but I don't care for the, there's not a pump. I think, I'm sure you could probably get a pump, but I just pour a little bit into the cap. You really only need um, just like, like a half a teaspoon worth. And then I pour it into my hands and you just pat it first on the cheeks here and just kind of rub it in gentle circles. The reason I like doing the oil cleanse though is that if you if you do this, um, it nicely breaks up the breaks up the makeup or, ma or sunscreen, and it doesn't require rubbing and scrubbing, and it doesn't leave behind um, allergens or irritants. That's a, that is the biggest issue with makeup removing wipes, makeup removers, micellar waters, is they all have they all have a lot of preservatives in them that can stay behind on the skin. Um, and so they, they, can be, they can be an issue, but they also, they also require you to do a fair amount of rubbing, whereas the oil just dissolves the, dissolves the, the makeup, sunscreen, etc. cetera. Um, and I'm first just dragging it over my face, um, and you really don't need a lot. And then I'll use a little bit more for my mascara. Now the trick with using this around the eyes is you don't wanna get it in your eyes. Um, that's irritating and you, you don't want to get any kind of skincare product in your eyes. So the way I do it is I just take a little teeny tiny bit on my fingertips, not a whole lot, I don't know if you can even see that, and you just close your eyes first and then take it from the eyelid and then just sweep it over the eyelashes. Just sweep. but keep your eyes closed. You don't want it to go in your eyes. And I love this because most eye makeup removers have uh, a little bit of surfactant in them that's really hard actually around the thin skin of the eyelashes. The skin there just doesn't tolerate it particularly well. 
um, and also have they also frequently have preservatives in them that can be really irritating around the eyes so I prefer this method and you guys have seen me do this with just plain mineral oil that I get in the laxative section um, but you can use this bath oil as well now it's marketed as a bath oil so um, it's meant to be added to your your bath water to combat the irritation of uh, of being in the tub and soap and, and excessive water exposure to the skin barrier. If you're like, what is she talking about? Check out my skin barrier video. But uh, that's kind of how it's intended to be used, but it's just a little liquid paraffin. And so it's a nice, it, it nicely conditions the skin and you can see it's taking off my, my mascara. So now that I've done that, um, you know, if I were going to take a shower right now, I'd just hop in the shower and I'd wash my face in there. You can also use this on your body, by the way, before you get into the shower to break up, to break up sunscreen on the body. It works really well that way. Um, be very careful though, when you get in the shower, if you use it on your body, it's going to obviously get on your shower, shower floor and will be very slippery. So be very careful. You don't want to fall in the shower. But um, after doing that, the next step is to then come in and wash that off. And I'm gonna do that using the QV Gentle Wash. I love this, it is fragrance free. This is a very gentle cleanser and it's now going to take off that oil and broken up makeup and, ma and mascara and sunscreen and what have you that you might have on your face. So I like to come in with this as the second step. So I'm just going to pop into my bathroom and uh, get a little bit of this on my face and I'll come back out and show you that. All right, so I just have some water and some of the gentle wash on my face, but I wanted to show you guys um, just what it looks like. It's a nice white creamy cleanser and it feels really, really good going over the face just to, just to help remove that oil layer and the broken up makeup. It does not sting at all. It's very rosacea friendly, um, very, just human skin friendly in general. Um, this is a fantastic one if you are coping with um, kind of the dryness and irritation of a retinoid, if you are on a um, oral uh, retinoid like Accutane, uh, isotretin, which is also called isotretinoin, this is, this is something that you can do to remove your sunscreen from the day and not irritate your skin as it's going through that going through that treatment. So this is this is wonderful. And it also feels kind of nice to just <laughs> do this. Um, the combination of the conditioning oil underneath, um, marrying with the cleanser, it's really, it really conditions the skin nicely. If you are somebody who, when you put cleansers on, <laughs> I hope I'm in focus because I have my eyes closed. If you're somebody, when you put cleansers and products on your face, if it stings, um, you know, the, the oil step kind of preconditions the skin to, to buffer against that before, before the, before the cleanser comes on. And this is a really nice gentle cleanser. So this is a good approach. If you are somebody with really sensitive skin, every cleanser you use stings the daylights out of you. Um, you know, the oil step, the oil step kind of gets you 10 steps ahead of what the cleanser has to do. And it kind of buffers, it kind of conditions the skin and buffers it from that. So, oh. All right, so now I'm gonna go rinse this off. All right, so I just rinsed that off and my face feels fantastic at this point. You know, whenever you cleanse your skin, sometimes you have that squeaky clean feeling and what that equates to is a stripped uh, barrier. My skin doesn't feel that way at all. It feels clean, but it feels simultaneously hydrated. And so at this point, the next step, you guys know, those of you who've watched any number of my skincare routines, you know at this point, I wanna capitalize on the hydration status of my skin. I've got water on there. I really wanna capitalize on that. I don't want it to evaporate out. When it evaporates out, it's going to, it's going to pull water with it. And in doing so, that's going to, that's called transepidermal water loss. It'll actually worsen, worsen dryness. So I'm just gonna come on with the QV Skin Lotion. This is a lightweight uh, lotion that is fantastic for the face and body um, and feels really good. This is a nice white cream. And this is really lightweight, um, but I like to just put it on wet skin right away. Um, and that helps to, to seal that in. If you are somebody with oily skin, this is enough of a moisturizer probably for you and you might be happy with it just as is. Just letting that, just letting that dry on there. It doesn't sting, it feels really nice, okay? 
But if you are somebody who has really dry skin, um, you can do the lotion first, or you can skip the lotion and go right to the next product, which is the QV cream. This can be this can be for dry skin people by itself, or it can be used for dry skin people along with the along with the lotion for extra for an extra pack. This is a nice, thick, occlusive, moisturizing cream. Really good if you are somebody who has eczema on the face. But you can see the QV cream is a lot thicker than the lotion. Like I can actually hold it up here. Let's put myself back in focus. There we go. And yeah, that you can just smear on the face. This is great around the eyes too, if you need a little extra hydration around the eyes. It's not like, you know, eye creams have all these exotic ingredients in them that can lead to irritation around the eyes. Just using a plain fragrance-free cream like this is really easy to tolerate around the, around the eyes. And then you just let that air dry on there and you know the skin is nice and hydrated you've got um, the water is trapped into the skin keeping keeping the stratum corneum hydrated and supple it will help to improve the appearance of wrinkles and fine lines around like the eyes for example dry skin dull dull skin very very easy 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 thing to do um, then for the lips in particular, I really love to use uh, an ointment on my lips and QV has this big tub of their intensive ointment. And there you have it. So that is just a basic nighttime skincare routine that anyone can do. Um, that is, you know, pretty no nonsense and affordable, um, not going to not going to cause irritation most likely, although I can never predict that 100% for everybody. But I hope this video was helpful to you guys, particularly those of you in Australia and New Zealand. Thank you all for sending these products, some of these products to me. Um, I really enjoyed them and continue to use them. I mean, they they are they are really good. So I, you know, I hope this video was helpful to you guys. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.